And look at what this is. Oh. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love. Love. Good morning, guys. Look, Hello. McKenna has a mask. What's up, guys? You know what's funny is I don't think you guys have ever seen this mask before. But we've had this mask for like almost two years. Thomas, Thomas. we bought this. And so Thomas, if you're watching this, which I doubt it, but if you are, do you remember this mask? But Today is the 16th, right? Yes. We've actually been doing a lot today. One of them being working on our got love room. This is our little sign that we have posted on the front of it. <laughs> but it's clean now, for the most part. Yep. So, Kyle ordered another shelving unit, and we have that organized as much as it can be right now. We just cleaned up, vacuumed, and right now we're gonna organize with sticky notes like we used to do in Okinawa. Kyle just had this idea, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. If you guys remember when we were in Okinawa, we put sticky notes on everything. Like if we had stuff to do, or if we had like our Okinawa map, and then we like planned out different trips and stuff. But right now, we're just going to write down our video ideas. And this is all stuff that like Kyle just recently talked about. And I'm like, you know what? We should vlog today. So we're going to work on our video ideas on sticky notes and put them all right here. And we'll see how it turns out. So we used to be really big fans of sticky notes. Since we came here, we tried using lists and notepads. I'm a very visual person. So sometimes like lists kind of just like aggravate me for some reason. Like lists are good, but it's not like a visual representation of what you have to do. So when you put a bunch of sticky notes on, you can like organize it and you can move them around as opposed to when you write it in a binder or when you write it in a notebook, you have to, in order to rearrange it, you have to flip it over and rewrite everything. And I'm yeah. just like, no. Nah. Sometimes you lose track of it and it gets like overwhelming. But sticky notes are awesome though. How, or is it okay to use the mini ones? Yeah, those work. You can be blue for Kyle Got videos. And then Got Love is going to be pink. And then McKenna Got is going to be purple. Like McKenna was saying, in Okinawa, we also had a map of Okinawa. And that's how we kept track of everything that we wanted to do while we were there. We didn't do everything we had written down, but we did Pretty much the things that we felt were the most important before we left. We, as you guys know, if you've been watching us since Okinawa, we went out and did a ton of stuff, like constantly. We were always out doing stuff and recording stuff. And since being back in the States and buying a house, I feel like we don't go out as much anymore. You know, like I feel like we stay in more. We just have so much we're trying to do. But I do want to start working on getting a map. So we picked up a Nevada map. It was like a big one, like the one we had in Okinawa. So I was like, oh, so I grabbed it. And I'm like, we're going to stick it in our house. And we're going to sticky note. And we just put sticky notes in the general regions. And then everything we want to do in that region. And then what I also want to do is get a Las Vegas map and put that here. Because there's a lot to do in Las Vegas. So we're going to try to knock out as much as we can while we're here. Kyle mentioned being a visual person and when you have things like that, like just like when we were in Okinawa and we had like our map and we had like where things were and like what to do, but then it's almost like that feeling of satisfaction when you get to like take a sticky note down and like mark that place off and it's like, whoa, look at all the things that we've done here. So we just failed at what we were attempting to do. As you can see, we have these little ones right here. That's what we were going to use, but we didn't test them before we wrote on them. They don't work. But the big ones, the big ones don't have a problem. They stick absolutely fine. Dang, I can't even get this one off. See? So we should have used the big ones. Oh, see, this one's already coming off. Currently 2.10 p.m. means that I have to get ready for work because I have to be at work by 3 o'clock. And today I'm going to be at work super, super late because I got told I need to do something by Friday, which 
Wait, is today Wednesday? Today's Thursday. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know what day it is. I'm so it's confused. Thursday. It's Thursday. All right. <laughs> so I was told I have to have this thing done by Friday, and I've never done it before. And I asked a few other people at work that are staff sergeants. Most of them, pretty much all of them, have never done it either. And they're like, I do know that it takes a long time. Today's gonna be like a super, super long day. That is the way the military life goes sometimes. So I'm gonna learn how to do this because I'm about to be a staff sergeant and I'm supposed to know how, even though not all the staff sergeants in my shop know how to do this, but it is something that people are supposed to know. My supervisor put it on me to do it and learn it. But hopefully you guys like the little tips and tricks for doing the sticky notes and stuff like that. Hopefully they'll stay on the door. I don't think they're gonna stick on the door very long, so we're gonna have to figure something out. But I do like that idea a lot. You guys should let us know if you guys like that idea by giving this video a thumbs up. But I will see you guys in the morning. So will McKenna. I don't think she's gonna vlog the rest of the day. We just have so much going on. And I have to go to work every day, and it sucks. You don't like when I go to work, huh? No. Me either. I like getting stuff done together. Yep. It makes it go by a lot faster. Hey guys, so today's Friday and we had our appointment this morning to go to the DMV and get our license changed so we could be Nevada residents and I took us to the wrong place, pretty much a place that is non-existent. So that's what's going on right now. So we're just going to go home and make an appointment for a different day and then go to the right one next time. We are back working in the Got Love room. We got more cubicle boxes like this because we didn't have enough of them so Kyle ordered more. We're gonna work on putting those in the shelving unit, folding more shirts today. But I just remembered that I told you guys in the last vlog that I would update you on how the food was. So Kyle, how did the coffee cake turn out? It was good. It was the really coffee good. cake was good. Kyle, oh. how did the Brussels sprout mushroom fettuccine turn out? It was not so good. That was not good at all. When I was first making it, I was thinking, this smells really good, it might actually taste good. And the first bite I took of it, I was like, oh yeah, not bad at all. But the more I ate it, the more I'm like, yeah, this isn't good. So I am glad that I didn't take the time to record it to make a video for McKenna Got Channel because I would not have posted it. So yeah, but the coffee cake turned out good and that's pretty much all that matters. It was, it was really good. I've been eating it the last few days. But today for lunch, I made chicken and dumplings and that was really good. It was, it was super good. Wouldn't mind having more before I leave for work, but I have to leave for work in like 20 minutes. And we're gonna do this right now before we leave. It's been super busy today, it's been Yeah, it's but been we, we have been uh, marking some stuff off on our list, but the list just keeps growing. <laughs> we uh, we had to get a new, a new thermal printer though. Not because the other one doesn't work, just because the other one doesn't print the type of shipping labels that we need to use. And I didn't realize it when I ordered it. So I had to get a new one. This is like the upgraded version of the one that we have now. So as you can see, this one is a lot bigger. Pretty much the same. It's exactly the same. Just that one's bigger. Cool. So that's the one we need to actually ship stuff out. This has been, it's been crazy and hectic. It's gonna be. It's, it's gonna, gonna be continue long, it's to gonna be. It's gonna be a long journey, but once we're finally like in a rhythm, it'll be so worth it. So don't worry, guys. Shirts coming soon. We just need to figure this stuff out first. So I should be in uniform right now, which I'm, I'm about to be. Like I got everything right here. I'm gonna be getting ready. But then the UPS guy, then the UPS, and then the USPS guy just showed up and dropped off a bunch of stuff. And look at what this is. Oh, it's a drone. It's a super cheap drone. This is gonna be our training drone. We didn't actually get like a legit drone, like the DJI Phantom 4. That's what I want. That's what we're getting when we get things figured out and we know when we wanna buy it. But for now, I was like, hey, why not get some cheap drones and we can practice on those, so then if we wreck them, it's like, well, big deal, it doesn't really matter. So the cool thing is, is that I got three different drones. I know you guys probably like, three drones? What, you didn't even just get, what, you got three? What do you need three for? And I'm like, all right, here's the story. When we were overseas in Japan, I got suckered into buying stuff from a website on Facebook. You guys, you know, you see those Facebook ads, it's like, oh, get this here on this website, or blah, blah, blah. So this is a website called GearBest.com. 
and I had purchased like $180 worth of things, like all at once, because I was just like, oh, I was on there, and I was like, oh, this is like cool, and that, I was like, dang, this is all cool stuff. I wanted it when we were in Japan. Tried to order some stuff, and then it turned out they like were like, oh, we canceled your shipment because we don't ship to Japan. And I was like, what the heck? But they were like, we're not gonna refund you, but we're gonna give you store credit. So I had $185 store credit for a year. And I just remembered, the other day I was going through my emails, and I was like searching certain things like shipping or whatever and then I saw like Gearbest and I was like, you know what? I have credit to that store and I got on there and sure enough, I still had $185 of credit. So I was like, you know what? Let's just buy three cheap drones. I think it was like $200 total. I spent $15 out of pocket and $185 that I had already spent forever ago. I am excited. And now, McKenna can practice with a drone because I know that you're totally gonna destroy them. I think it's like 80 bucks for this one. And the reviews I watched, the guys were actually like, I'm actually impressed with the camera. And I've seen like two, three hundred, four hundred dollar drones that the camera's not even as good as this one. And this one's not that good. But I'm not trying to spend $400 on a drone that like sucks. So I was like, well, I'll spend $80 on a drone that sucks. So this one actually has a camera. So we might be getting some drone shots coming here soon. I know you guys have been commenting lately about how the quality of our videos has improved. Well, they're about to unimprove because we're gonna possibly be using some footage from these drones. <laughs> and then I got one more right here. This one is actually a first person view uh, flying drone. It's got like a really crappy camera. It's waterproof. So that's why I wanted to test it in our pool. So like we can crash it and it doesn't matter. Like this one, I literally watched them like clip they like clipped the little propellers, they like ran it into a wall like full speed, they put it in water and flew it out. I was like, yo, this thing is indestructible, so we're gonna put McKenna to the test on this one. But you guys can expect some drone footage and some fun drone videos in the near future, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited for drones. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, you can click this vlog or you can click this one. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. You can check us out on our social media. The links are in the description below and we'll see you guys in another video. Peace out, go loco.